Okay, I've been trying to get the perfect angle, the perfect vibe for the last like 15 minutes and it's stressing me out. Ugh. But anyway, here I am coming to film a new video. So hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. It's I, Daily Carrington, giving you very much Christmas realness. If you go to my channel like a year ago, like around this time, you'll see the tree and I thought I'll do another tree video for y'all because it's cute, it's vibes, aesthetics, all that cute stuff. But today I'm actually feeling a cat filling. I'm filming a camp video. It's December the 28th today and I left Camp Kennelin in August. How many months ago that is? I don't know. I was gonna do the maths, but Elizabeth pointed out in every video I do, I do some incorrect maths. So I'm gonna let you guys work out. I'm no longer doing maths on camera because I simply can't do it. And I literally passed maths by this much. I can't do it. So yeah, as I said, today is a camp video where I give you like a tea, I suppose, like a Q&A on like camp life, what's it like, and all that good stuff. Um, I have been getting quite a few questions on my camp video. So I've got three, four or five, it depends. I've got three videos at camp, one video prior to camp, and one video on my way to camp. And I've got a video like after camp when I went to Vegas with camp people, but like three official camp videos. I've got the questions from my YouTube, from Instagram and Snapchat where people have been asking me. And I feel like there's so much to talk about camp because when I was going to camp, the only person I knew to give me advice was one, my sister who went 10 years ago. And obviously, like Tracy Turnbull said in Hairspray, the times are changing, the world's evolving. Like it's welcome to the 60s <laughs> like it's different you know what i mean and um i also watched a lot of like victoria white house on youtube she's great so i thought i would do one as well because obviously it's slightly different going to camp as a black girl so you know so i've got a few questions on my phone and then we're just gonna get right into it is it nerve-wracking being a first timer well of course, like of course for me, it was nerve wracking because I'm flying 11 hours and I've never flown by myself before. I've flown without my mum, but not me one, do you know what I mean? So that was the first factor. Two, I have a long term boyfriend, so I was like, I was leaving behind that and like, what happens if we broke up while I was there? Like, what do we do next? For, can I count? Wow, I, I, I really can't count. I'm on my third point, why am I saying four? Wow. And then thirdly, um, I don't know anything about it. I was literally going to a camp 11 hours away in, in California and the time difference is eight hours. So I was really, really out of the loop between like my family, between my friends, between everything. I had no, I, I don't even know who Flo are. I had no clue Flo was a band that blew up whilst I was in America. Like, I literally had no clue about anything that was going on. Do you know what I mean? Like, people would send me in Love Island memes, my sister and Raisa. I'm like, I don't know who Ekin Soup is. I wasn't there. So, it's nerve-wracking because I'm missing out on so much back at home. And it's weird that like, life still goes on while you're not there. So, it's like, it's, it was quite, you know, scary. A scary thought. And also because, like... I, I live at home for uni. I've never gone away from my house for longer than a week. Do you know what I mean? And to do that by myself as well, that is like, whoa. It's, do you know, there, there's so many things that, why well, I made it really nerve wracking, but it, was, it wasn't that bad. It was, it was great, <laughs> it was great. What was the food like? So I feel like when you're going to America, you're expecting like burgers, wings, pizzas, fat portion sizes, all that good stuff, which you can get for on your day off. Uh, but the food, it wasn't my favorite. But I gained so much weight while I was out there. It was so depressing that when I came back, I lost it all, which is great because like gym after gym. <laughs> but um, for me, I was eating like salads every day. So for my lunch, I would have a salad my dinner I have salad but my salad would be like um croutons chickpeas kidney beans black beans and like cucumber so much Italian dressing and ranch oh, wow my mouth is watering think about those salads are so good 
but I didn't know that kidney beans and beans in general have more protein than meat. So I was eating all that protein, gaining all that weight, and I was eating like so much salad dressing on my salad, gaining so much weight. Do you know what I mean? But like the food that wasn't um, salads and stuff like from the salad bar was stuff like every Monday when the kids would arrive, it would have um, spaghetti day. Oh, my favorite. I love spaghetti night. Towards the end, I stopped getting the bread because like carrots and you're eating all these carbs. And I had to stop getting my beans and my chickpeas because like you're eating all this protein. Like what are you doing? And then like obviously this is catering to kids, you know? So you're not exactly gonna have like uh, a mission star meal. It's gonna be kid friendly and kids are quite picky. And then breakfast would be like, um, there's like a cereal bar. I would also have a cup of tea. Breakfast, oh, every Thursday I had chuck wagons. I love when you had the pancakes and I get the vegetarian sausage. So good because I don't eat pork um but if it was something like eggs I wouldn't eat the eggs for tartars I wouldn't eat that ooh, ooh. like stuff like that I don't like or if it was an outpost which is like camp camping outside of the cabins it would be foil shoe and when I first had foil shoe I said what is this muck on my lap it's literally like <laughs> it looks so disgusting, but trust me, it actually bangs. But I don't know what about it, because it would hurt my stomach each and every time after I ate. So I don't know what that was it. Do you know what I mean? Or if it was like uh outpost, breakfast would be like um bagels and like so lunch would be a pea with peanut butter jelly peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. I don't like nuts, so I would just have like a thin of cream cheese and jam bagel and that'll be it. But as a counsellor, you can have snacks. So I would literally be eating Cinnamon Toast Crunch every single day. Cinnamon Toast Crunch. And me and Paige were just just strict diet of, um, what are those people called? My favorite, high chews. High chews, strict diet of high chews. Cinnamon Toast Crunch, that would be me. But like, it'd be like, you know, kids food, like burgers on the last day, like um, Thanksgiving meal. It wasn't my favorite Thanksgiving meal, but I didn't mind the mashed potatoes. I had stir fry a few times. I don't know what we ate. I did make a food diary. So if you guys want to see my camp food diary, let me know, because I can go and find it for you, because it was so funny, because I would turn my face to everything. I'm like, mm, I'm not eating that. I am a picky eater, I'll admit. There would be something for everyone to eat, essentially. And like, obviously, you're eating on a table of kids. You can't be like, not eating, because you're setting a role model. You're setting an example of kids that you're like, um, accounts are for, so you can't inspect starving yourself, you know? Or there'll be soup. Soup was actually good. Chicken soup, the chicken noodle soup that Brenda made in that kitchen and the staff, bussing. Was I busy all the time? Yes. Yes, oh, yes, oh, yes. So your day is basically, 20, it's, a, it's, it's technically a 24 hour job. As much as like once you put the kids to bed, you have um, like five hours, to, like three, four hours to yourselves. You can't go off campsite, first of all. You have to stay in the campsite. You have to keep the volume down because kids are around sleeping. And you wake up and you're waking up with kids in your room, unless you're in a star cabin, which I was for one week. But you wake up and there's kids in your room, so you've instantly got to be counselor mode. You've got to be like, okay, these are random names. Jesse, go brush your teeth. Kelly, go do that. Can you change? We're going to breakfast. Do you know what I mean? Then you're at breakfast, and you've got to engage with your kids again to like be like, oh, how do you sleep? Talk about kids. Like, what? Were they excited for the day? Blah blah blah. Then you come back from flag race, and you go to your first lesson. You teach your next lesson. You teach your next lesson. And obviously, you have like three periods in the day, but you still got to, you know, you still got to be always on job. And when you're off clock. It's like, you know pretty much everyone from camp, so you're gonna be talking about camp stuff. And it's like, it's never so like, obviously you talk about things like in the real world, but camp is just always on your mind. You're worried about your kids. Oh, uh, like it must've been like an international night and I was off eating Pan Express. It was actually really good. And I was like, oh, I wish I was there with my kids, enjoying my kids, my kids. It's like, these are my children. Like I'm a mother of like six. <laughs> it is quite demanding and like stressful. So on your time off, that's when they recommend you rest or like we would like party like all the time. Which I didn't even vlog too much. I didn't want much of my like co counselors and my colleagues to be on my channel getting lit and then people sitting there getting in trouble. So I was like, if I'm gonna vlog, I'll vlog for myself because it's my channel. When did I apply? I applied for camp in like, I wanna say February. I wanna say just before my birthday, or if not, it was end of 
February. So like just after his birthday, something along those lines. What was the representation like for black people? So that was a big thing for me. So when I was doing my interviews for camps, um, I actually asked the director like, what is that like? Because obviously I'm a black person and America can be quite cruel to black people. And that's just the reality. So I did ask her, she said like, obviously camp culture is a, typically a white dominated um, space, which it is. And so she said like, there have been like black counselors in the past and stuff like that, but it's mainly like, you know, white dominated. So I was a bit like, that's quite nervous, nerve wracking or whatever. Um, but I still had to go with it. Like I've been to like a predominantly white school before, my uni is predominantly white. So it's something that I've always kind of dealt with, but it's not much, I'll be real. Like counselors, it was me, Rianne and Yaya, two, three black counselors and like my camp, it was like a luxury rich camp. So to not see many black people, I wasn't shocked. Which follows my next question was like, what, what did I do for my hair whilst at camp? That is a freaking good question. So I went to camp with braids and my fast egg up self and decided to take my braids at like three weeks in, which I really shouldn't have. I should have kept them braids the whole time when I was there because who I am I'm pressing? My man's at home. <laughs> so after I did that, I had to like, I was doing like buns. I straightened my hair like twice and I wasn't wearing it down. I was wearing it like in like a sleek up bun without gel. But it was, it was a dumb decision. Like if I go back to camp, I would not take out my hair out of my braids so quickly and not being so eager and so fast. Because really and truly my braids wasn't bothering anyone. How long was I there for? I thought it was nine weeks, it was actually 10 weeks. I was there for like 10 weeks. I had a countdown on my phone because I was like, I want to go home. <laughs> I was like, I don't know if I'm cut out for this. Like these animated Americans sleeping in the woods, the phone reception, I'm not like my phone. No, like the time difference, no, no. But I was there for like 10 weeks. But then I did stay uh, a week extra because I went to Vegas with everyone from camp, which my ticket to Vegas cost £20. When am I going to get that chance ever again? And then from Vegas, I then went to New York with my sister. And then finally, my last question for this round of Q&A about camp. If you want another one or you want more camp-related topics because you're thinking about applying, which you should, it's once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. Obviously, you can keep going back, but like, Stop being the archetype South girl, North girl, East girl, Lincolnshire girl. Do something new. Baby, will I be going back? I've contemplated and debated a lot, and I don't think I'm going back to camp. And I say that to say that I have, re I have reasons. Once, because one, it's like, if I'm going again, I'm missing another summer of, um, like, family, friends, boyfriend, blah, 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 blah. And like me and my boyfriend have never been on a holiday together, but I've been on quite a few big holidays without him. Do you know what I mean? That's one. Two, I'm graduating. My graduation ceremony is likely to be in the middle of camp. And there was a counselor this year who actually missed her graduation. I've been slaving at this University of Arts London for me a lot to get my cup and gal. They, like, it's not giving. It doesn't make any sense. Why would I, like, why? Do you know what I mean? Like, why, why on earth would I do that? I wouldn't. That's the answer. And also because 10 weeks is a long time to dedicate. And I didn't like, I didn't don't like outposts. Like, me sleeping in the woods is not, it's not really fun for me. It's not that fun for me. I'm quite still in the dark. I don't like the woods. I don't like that stuff. And like, I don't like the cold. And it gets really, it's hot. And then during the day, it's like up to like 35 degrees the night nine degrees if that like it's cold i don't like sleeping in the no no three uh <laughs> i just feel like i want to do something new like if i could go if i could do camp and do um and do like everything else i would love to but i think with the british visa the minimum i can do is six weeks six weeks is still a lot of time to dedicate and that's it's only six weeks is not that long in camp life because that's really only one week session and two two week sessions. I feel like in that aspect I won't. If I didn't have uni uh, graduation and a boyfriend, probably I would. Probably I would. And also it's 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 a lot to ask for someone to wait for you again for another ten weeks. And I missed my our third year anniversary this year, which is kind of bad. Uh, if I feel like if I miss a fourth year one. It might just be the end. 
<laughs> but yeah, that's all I've got to say for today. I hope it's been a great video. I enjoyed filming this sit down video. I haven't filmed a sit down video in a minute. Um, I wanna do more sit down videos. I wanna do more camp videos actually, because I know there's been so much more questions. People wanna know more about camp. I'm supposedly even been getting my, um, yes, I'm supposed to even be getting my, I went to find it, my camp, uh, what's it called? Yearbook, and I'm so excited about to come up. My camera ran out of storage, and I'm not surprised it did, because I've got a Vegas vlog on here. The angle's gonna be different, but I need to end this vlog video quick. I'm not surprised I ran out of storage, I'm, okay, do you know, the angle's gonna be messed up. I'm sorry. I'm going to mess because my camera ran out of storage because I've got a Vegas vlog in here, a New York vlog in here, a Qatar vlog in here, and ever crap in between that I've been doing in my life. So, I'm not surprised. This SD card I bought in Vegas Best Buy is lasting me a long, long time. That was a Best Buy. Okay, that was a great buy. Anyway, I was saying that um, I'm expecting my, um, my, this, yes. I got this letter, I mean, text from Royal Mail. My Kenan and Camps uh, thing, yeah, but has passed customs, I'm gonna get it real soon. But I know there's gonna be more questions about camp because I get them, I get them a lot. So, um, you know, and I can talk about like how my day went and my favorite things to do and how you should apply to camps, all that great stuff. I can do loads of those videos. Um, but I just wanna quickly end the video now before my storage runs out again. How embarrassing. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, thank you so much for watching. Uh, please like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. And I was gonna say I'm more consistent. I need to stop saying that. I just need to do it. Just do it. Yeah, 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 do it, please. But yeah, thank you so much. And I hope you enjoyed this one. And I'll see you in my next one. And if this comes out at the start of the new year, then happy new year. And if it doesn't, then happy new year. So I'm wishing you good, happy, ever blessed, good, nice, clean, ever new. Yeah. <laughs> Happy New Year, okay? Bye!